Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan coming to you live from the streets of Molingar in Molingar. There's Salmon's bus coach going by there as well. There is a bit of movement on in the town, and great to see a bit of life back in the town of Molingar. We are going live today on our bus sessions coming uh, from our uh, outside broadcast machine and that's our tour bus we've just moved it down the town and we are going to Rochford's where we're literally outside Rochford's we were lucky to get a spot actually uh, the best store in Dominic Street Mullingar so before we start we have to do one more very important thing from our live broadcast to so just give you the the two ends of the town for all our diaspora that are looking in and uh, all the famous buildings that everyone knows for many many years so let's get going on the shout out show from our tour bus yes indeed and uh, just before we start a better go we're doing our instagram as well so let's get this one going as well uh, i forgot about this one every day is a learning day okay so our instagram is up and running so if you're on instagram folks out there get your instagram on as well because we're going live on that one yes we're up and running and you can see actually the logo of Rochford's here in the background. So let's start off our show with the most important thing. The 12 bongs. Bong, 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 bong. That's the 12 bongs. If everyone has got the 12 bongs, get them all in. So as I said, today we are sponsored by Rochford Superstore and Music Shop. That they're 50 years in business and it's the shop that if you don't have it, if, you, if we don't have it, you don't need it. <laughs> That's the one that Thomas was telling me about. And it's the best, the best shop in town for cones. I definitely recommend the cones in Rochford's every day. They're absolutely super. And something about them that they're just that little bit cold. But let's start off our shout out show because today is birthday day and we have so many birthdays. I cannot believe it. I don't know what happened this time nine months all them years ago because everyone's birthday is on today. So our first birthday shout out is Killian Kelly. And Killian is from Mullingar in Mullingar. And today it comes in from his daddy, Terry. And carrying on with another birthday girl. Oh yes, indeed, with Adele Bauer. Adele Bauer has a birthday today. I don't know what number it is, but happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Adele Bauer. Happy birthday to you. And that comes in from Davy and all the kids. Now they're growing up now, but they're always your kids. And a fantastic shout out coming to a man who is living in that loan for many, many years. International singer Brendan Shine. Happy birthday to you, sir, and hope you had a fantastic day. I think it was yesterday that Brendan's birthday was on. So let me see, carrying on our birthday greetings, we have uh, Thomas Parker, and he's called the Hummer Man because we uh, done a video with the gentleman, and he has a beautiful Hummer brought in from America, and he hums around from Edgerstown. So a big shout out to you and a happy birthday. Not forgetting Anya Duffy and she's from uh, Cavan TV. Once again, thank you Anya for the interview and uh, fair enough, you're doing a fantastic job on Cavan TV. Uh, Johnny, oh no, that's Paddy, Paddy Lonigan. Uh, Paddy Lonigan and myself as kids walked the canal. Yes, when it was frozen, the two brothers are out there following and we followed in after them. Thank God we made it and to be here this day. But a big shout out to you, Paddy. And that comes in from Martina and all your family. And uh, Sinead, T-H-E-I-G-H-E-A-R-N-I, Father A-N. McTiernan in Irish. A lot of people have changed their names to Irish because they're Irish, maybe. And she has a birthday today and she's 21. And that comes in from all your friends in Apache Pizza. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sinead. From all your friends in Apache Pizza from Mullingar in Mullingar. Happy birthday to you. And another birthday coming in from uh, Multi Farnham. His name is Andrew Ferrick. Happy birthday to you, Andrew, from all your friends and family. And uh, one Kilkenny birthday coming in here. We have Mel Moriarty. And Mel is birthdays today. And a big shout out to you from the shout out show from Mullingar in Mullingar. 
Mullingar to you in Kilkenny. And let me see, we still have more. We have Albert Boyne, or Albie Boyne, and he's with Crooked Wood, and he's living out there, but he works with Trotter Independent Traders. That's right, he has his little yellow bus as the colour we're wearing today, the yellow bus from Mullingar in Mullingar, but he's out in Crooked Wood. So a big shout out to you on your birthday, Albert. And uh, let me see another shout out here to Karen Rigney and her birthday is today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Karen Rigney from Bali. Cumber. Happy birthday to you. And let me see another shout out here is Carmel Timlin Foran. And Carmel has a big birthday to you. And this comes in with all the love from your hobby, Alan. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carmel Foran. Timlin from Allen. Happy birthday to you. And another big shout out coming in here from Fresno, California. And this is Raymond Niles. So a big happy birthday to you, Raymond Niles. And thanks for liking all our posts and have a fantastic birthday in California. But ladies and gentlemen, our special guest today, he's with us, he's in waiting. We actually got him out of bed because he's so busy working seven jobs. This man is an animal to work. He works tirelessly for Mullingar, from Mullingar in Mullingar bringing on different events that are coming into the town and promoting what's good and great about our town. Will you please put your hands together for Thomas Nally. Thomas Nally is going to come through the door any minute now. Will I have to open the door for Thomas Nally? Is he in there? Is he out there? Let me see. We better check to see if Thomas Nally... Thomas! Thomas, are you coming in the door? Thomas Nally! He's, he's here. He's here. Are you busy? Flat out. Flat out, flat Absolutely out. Come in, flat come in out. shut that door because someone will get hit by a, a van going by. <laughs> Thomas, great to have you on board and it's great. This is our first time to go live with our roadcaster. Great stuff. It's looking good. <laughs> Fair play to you. You've pulled out all the stops. <laughs> Definitely, I'm Thomas. I've disinfected into it in an inch of my life now, so don't Every, worry. <laughs> everything is looked after. We are uh, complying with the compliances. Thomas, tell us, you're 50 years in business. You yeah. You, you're probably not 50 yourself, are you? Uh, no, no. Don't ask that it's, question. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> uh, Dad is in town 50 years, so the business is actually there since the early 20s. Go on. But Dad is there 50 years. Um, long story short, originally the lady that uh, owned the shop, right? Um, there was a man called Kit Rochford. Right. Who was a travelling salesman who stayed upstairs. Yeah. And they actually fell in love and uh, they didn't have a family. Right. But they started Rochford's and he started Mullingar Town Football Club. Wow. Um, and back in the 30s, he was nearly put out of town because he brought soccer to, to Mullingar. Um, and then after that, Dad's aunt worked for him and Dad bought it off her and then... I'm there since. And now tell me, you said your father came to town. He's not from Mullingar, is he? Or Milltown he originally. Ah, well yeah. he's only, he's out the country. So. Proud Milltown man, he out, out in Rat. Right. Yeah, and yeah. your mother is from town as well? Uh, Mam is from Glasscourt, just out the way as well. Glasscourt, near near Rat. So, ah, they're all yeah. townlands, is it? Yeah, said. it's true, yeah. Now they are, I suppose, yeah. Absolutely. So Rochard has grown and grown and grown, but a thing that just came up there a while ago is you had the talking bird outside. <laughs> Well, every Saturday night there's talking birds outside, but this one you had to pay. <laughs> there was a parrot. That's right. A big parrot in a cage that you put money in. It was like something out of America. That drew people from, like, do you remember years ago when people used to come through Mullingar, going to Mayo and stuff like that? Like, people used to stop, especially for the ice cream and the talking parrot, and we had one of those grab machines as well. Dad was always great at getting stuff, novelty things like, you know. Um, and seeing but, an opportunity as well. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and the big thing is the cones. I mean, the cones are just to die for. Whatever way he's mixing them up there himself, I don't know how he does it. Now, the machine was down last year and it was nearly, the town nearly went into... Yeah, uh, it, it, I nearly had a heart attack. I was going to, <laughs> going to go to Italy myself and get a fan belt for that joke. It's, uh, but it's up running now, is it? It's up and running and flying, yeah. yeah. But the, the cone machine's the heart of the place. And we do have a, a, a bit of a... 
a secret story to it that it's so good so i'm not going to divulge that there you are but, i uh, knew there was something to it ladies and gentlemen but another thing that you've after opening up recently as well is the four star pizza and delivery yeah yeah we're we're into our third year now with that Go on. And yeah that's flying and it's a great compliment to the ice cream because people come in and they, they can get both like when you could sit down you could get the pizza and you could get the ice cream there together yeah um, but we're delivering, we're, and we deliver all the, the groceries as well, and munchies and stuff. So along with your pizza, you can get all the crisps and minerals and stuff as well. I says, if you if you don't need it, we don't have it. That's your logo, as I say. But I mean, what do you sell in the t in the shop? I know you sell cards, briquettes, and milk. <laughs> it's the only Wellingtons, place. maybe. You can get a guitar, an ice cream, and a sewing kit all in the one spot. The music shop, we nearly forgot about. Yeah. You have a music shop here yeah. and a music, uh, would you say, a teaching area upstairs the, the as well. School upstairs is separate, and that's flying. That's Siobhan Murphy. She's mm -hmm. doing a great job up there. Hello, but Siobhan. The, uh, the music shop itself is, we're about, we're over 10 years now, but. Like it's it's great. We've a bit of everything in it. Absolutely, um, yeah. Like that, we've all the kind of odd things that are hard to get. Yeah. Um. And sometimes, like we mightn't have some of the big names, but we don't have in it. We don't bring anything in that we can't beat internet prices. So at least we'd be honest with people that way. And another thing is, you're going to do a competition now. Just as we're chatting, we're going to try and do this competition today, yeah. right? Right. Great. What is your competition? Family feed a family. So we'll do pizza and ice cream for a family. And uh, anybody out there, we done one at the, the weekend there. We got some lovely comments about memories from Rochford. So um, we'd be delighted to do another one. Because, like, to, to be honest with you, like, it's the people of Mullingar that keep us going. Dad has always said that down through the years. We're a family business. We, my mum and my sister are involved in the business. And That's average, did, yeah. 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 And it's very much the people of Mullingar that we, we are supporting us. So it's nice to do something to give something. And, and the good thing about it is Rochford's don't doesn't close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all I feel like it doesn't close. I feel like I'm there all the time. <laughs> we open at half six in the morning, and during the COVID, we've started closing at ten at night. But it's usually eleven, right. and it's seven days a week. The only day we close is uh, Christmas Day. So, and the staff on today is Lucy, Nicole, and yourself. So, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a skeleton staff, but you're working hard. <laughs> yeah, look at like, and and that's what it's all about. We've brilliant staff, mm. and any of our staff are there. Like Lucy's there forty something years. That's right. Um, and Nicole is there years and years. Any of the staff we hold on to, and I. Think I think that's a good thing it, it's a good kind of plug for a place you know we look after the staff but more so than that the staff are very good to us like exactly um what i always think about the cones is um my theory with the cone is right so when you were going to get a cone and you say to them you know would you like a small scone or a big cone you say i'll have a small one and i'd usually say um you know so the plan my my plan with the cone right is the idea is that you keep chatting to the staff really give them oh how are you going on how's things with you and they sort of lose their concentration right so you get a small cone and it becomes a big cone but don't tell anyone else <laughs> now ray you're after opening up a can of worms <laughs> anybody else your portions will be small now this week after ray said that. <laughs> another thing you had the bachelor's competition right you put an animal amount of work into it i mean yeah. apart from you you are a nurse by trade as i say i am I, i've given up the nursing for a little while right um, I'm, I'm back in the shop full time but, yeah um yeah look at the bachelor competition was just one of them things it'll be back there is a plan yeah and um, so we'll be back stronger than ever and i just felt really sorry for the, the contestants and the people that bought tickets but um, they're not going to go to waste. Mm. We have a, a very good plan coming You're together. You're just going to so. forward it like everything else. Yeah, exactly. Everyone keeps their tickets yeah. and you still run the show. Simple yeah, as that. Yeah, and that's yeah. probably the best way. And it, there's no back and forward. The decision is made and it says we're all, uh, the whole world is in this scenario. We're all waiting. We're all yeah. chomping at the bit. Yeah. And uh, look, at it'll get there and, and people, it, it, signs are on, it's getting better. So mm -hmm. we'll get there. What was the first thing that your father got into in the shop at the start, really? Did he start with everything, all the plans? Jeez, of... he done everything, yeah. yeah. But I remember, like, we had an old um, estate car and he'd be going to Dundalk in Dublin there twice a week getting toys and... You know, he was a great man at the time for, like, you could get toys, you know, like yeah. stuff that would be on the late, later that mm -hmm. you'd have access to them. So he'd, people would come in with a list and he'd go and he'd literally do their shopping for them. Wow. And he'd come back with all the stuff. 
things have changed now with suppliers and and stuff being centralized like toys r us and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. so you can't really do that as much but he was a great man for sourcing stuff absolutely um, and i tried to do that with the music now if we if we don't have anything i'll try and get it you yeah know, so. and and that's the beauty of even if i'm looking for bits and pieces myself i'll say i go up to rochford and sure when you go in you're chatting to the boys and say can you give you this or do you need that or what about this and say you know they do have all them bits and pieces that are so important because musicians we have loads of stuff but we always want more as i say and strings are simple thing or plex of different sizes or yeah. you know um plugins and all this type of thing but uh, as I said, all the family is involved in the shop. You sell everything from cards to uh, brickets and all that. Now, we're, we're running the competition. So let me see. We'll just have a little candor here and see who has looked in. Uh, how are we going to run this competition? How do we say we're going to do it? Um, I don't mind. Do you want to run it for a couple of days or do you want today yeah. or what? Yeah, we'll run it for a couple of days until what day is today? Wednesday. So we'll run it till Wednesday. And how are we going to say... Um, I let you pick the winner. You're yeah, but how are we going to say, how are the people going to win this competition? Um, I suppose um, a more if we could do a kind of a, a do you know what I was thinking if everyone put in um, if everyone says could tell us and put on this post how long Rochford's is open right yeah. Okay. now yeah. if everyone puts in how long Rochford's is open it's a total giveaway and so and then we do a, a pick out all the numbers right we come back down here we might bring the roadcaster i'm not too sure and uh we'll pick it out next wednesday around the si do you know we'll have this shout out show again here next wednesday right right definitely. this is the first time the shout out show has has gone on the road fair play to you we, we've been outside the house for serious a long time serious job serious <laughs> job it is fair play to you it's credit to you ref and like do you know it's people like yourselves get mullingar on the map that it's all about Awesome well, play. Uh, thank you very much. But as I say, we all have our part. Everyone is out there. And I, I think the most important thing is to talk up where you're from because we're all very proud of where we're from. Yeah. And everyone in the town, as I say, everyone is doing their bit. We have loads of people, as I say, promoting our town from all different angles. And, and it's great to see that everyone is getting involved in promoting our town. So yeah. to all the rest of the people out there, as they, we all need to do our bit uh, to promote from where we're from because, as I said, this is... If you go away, all you're going to think about is where you're from. Yeah. And all our diaspora comes back and they go, and even they look in and they say, um, you know, what's this now? What's that? Could you send me a picture of this? And really, they have this, it's in your heart. And no matter where you go, if you have not traveled, go and travel and then come back. Or when you're away traveling and then you think, Jesus, the Mullingar great town. There's a it bit of a this. draw there the whole time. Yeah, yeah. and it draws you back yeah, all the time, does, you know. Yeah. So anyway, thanks to everyone else who is doing their bit to promote the town. And we are coming here live from Rochford's, from Mullingar, in Mullingar. <laughs> they even made this sign. Yeah. <laughs> we do so, everything. <laughs> they do everything. So all right, guys, uh, put down how many years Rochford's open. It's, there's no reference to it with my hand. And then put it down. We'll pick it out next Wednesday. We'll go live again from the shout out show. And uh, I just want to check out now who has come in here already. Uh, all the people right who are in. Oh, just a big gang here chatting. Um, uh, oh, yes. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a good. Uh, let me see now. As a message. Okay. So we have uh, Miriam McDermott and she says, hi. I don't know where you are, Miriam. Uh, Audrey uh, Nealis is coming in here and she came to Mullingar recently and had a great time with all her friends great. Uh, she's from Claddy in the, in the north of Ireland and uh, she's giving us the thumbs up there Carmel Kennedy is looking in from London and uh, checking in with a crazy migraine. Oh no. How would you recommend for a migraine? He's oh, a doctor. Sorry, he's a no, nurse. No, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, consult a doctor. <laughs> consult a doctor or get some sulfidine, Carmen. That's a typical nurse reply now. <laughs> and uh, Carmel, uh, Karen is, or Kareen is looking in from Holland. Uh, Paul Cassidy says good afternoon. Where are you, Paul? Jardine is looking in from the north of Ireland. Chris Conway is coming in from, I think he's in London. Hi, Ray, will you wish my daughter Antonetta a uh, happy 17th birthday from Chris and Angela. Happy birthday uh, happy to birthday. you. Yeah, well happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Auntie O N uh, Antonia. <laughs> My spelling is shocking. <laughs> happy birthday to you. And that comes in from Chris and he's in London. I think he's a nurse actually as well. Uh, Caroline O'Doherty Nicholas. Uh, a sunshine this morning. Could you give a shout out to, out to my father, William O'Doherty in M-A-G- Mag Mag Gilligan. 
from McGilligan. Okay, happy birthday to you. Is it a birthday? No, it's just a shout out. <laughs> shout out to you, William. <laughs> William actually sent us a bus recently. Um, we put it up, as I say, we call it the bus sessions at five o'clock. Right. So he sent us a real old bus and we actually used the one. Uh, Miriam is saying, uh, my ma is always shopped there and her grandkids at Christmas. There you are, oh, that's Thanks Miriam McDermott. Thanks a million, Miriam. Uh, Chris Conway is a happy birthday to Antoinette and we got that one. Siobhan Duffy's looking in from Dundalk, uh, from a cooler Dundalk. She usually goes out, uh, I was going to say fishing, uh, she usually goes uh, playing golf. Uh, Kathleen Dooner is looking in, good afternoon to you. Penny uh, Snyder is actually a nurse in New York. Very good. Uh, um, Mary Farrell is happy birthday to Thomas Parker. Fair play to you from Anthony Mary in Australia. Australia wow. Great. Super job. And uh, let me see. Uh, Val Jordan says hi. And uh, Rose Judge says good morning. Yes. Mary Cross is in Shard in Somerset. Always looking in. Uh, I, I'm i now in the bus, Ray. Now, sometimes she's on the bus going to wherever she is in Chard and leaves us a message and says, I can't see the bus now, but I'll see it later on. Very good. Uh, oh, yes. Magellan Alley. She's down there. Oh, in down the road. <laughs> A great neighbour, a great customer. Is she related? No. No? No. And uh, let me see, Maggie Baker says hi. Uh, Graham Temple, great shop. That's Graham Temple, Thanks, the Graham. legend that is. Alan uh, Fitzgerald says hi, Ray. Bridget O'Connor uh, opened in 1920. Bridget O'Connor says. So she's going back. Bridgie lives out in Terrell's Pass and she's living up in Tala with Tommy now. Wouldn't be far off. Yeah, she's on the yeah. ball. Uh, end of the competition. And uh, Mary Cross says, can't wait for next year. She, she's 80 years of age and she's coming to Mullingar. Oh, brilliant. We'll bring Call you, in for an ice cream. We'll bring you for a cone. <laughs> Margaret uh, Garraway, Gia or, or Garraway, uh, loves Mullingar. Alan Fitzgerald, uh, 1920, the shop opened. Alan Fitzgerald, Mullingar, from Mullingar in Rochards. <laughs> <laughs> Kira Bregan says, hi lads. Uh, or, uh, Began, how's it going? Uh, Caroline O'Doherty uh, says thanks, Ray. Sean Breen is coming in from Australia and he regularly lives. Hello! <laughs> and he lives, he lived up in Patrick Street, so he's living in Australia for the last 40 years. When we sent him a load of videos and the whole lot about the town. Jesus Christ. And uh, he said to me the other day, What's your address? I want to send you a present. We've never met. Certain people is good. Ah, oh, it's amazing. So yeah. look, guys, Carmel Kennedy. Uh, thanks, Ray. You're you you're a friend. Oh, appreciate that. And uh, never had a cone though, Graham. You Graham haven't Temple, lived. Get in here, and I'll give you a cone. I call in for a small one. <laughs> <laughs> It's a small one you'll get to. <laughs> Ray, hi Ray from Donegal. I'd say uh, my sister Sarah and uh, Geraldine in Munningar. Uh, hi to her sister. That's uh, Garraway. Uh, I don't know who your family is, but look, girl. Look, guys, thanks very much for coming on board. Uh, the shout out show. This is our first day of broadcasting on the street. We have Thomas Nally from Rochford's Superstore and Music Shop. Not forgetting Four Star Pizzas.ie. They'll deliver to your house. And don't forget the competition. How many years is it open? How many years is Rochford's open? Is that the one we we're going to say? How many knows. years is Dad in business, I suppose? Is yeah. More, yeah. And that's that's the. It's not right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so many years is Tom, Tommy, and he's, everyone, I called him Rochford until I got to know him. Tommy Rochford. Tommy Rochford. Tommy Rochford <laughs> Nally. People used to come in and say, is Tommy Rochford around? And we'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the competition is, how long is Tommy Nally in business in Rochford's Mullingar? And we, you know it by the, if you look at the Facebook page and that, we run this competition, it's for, once again, Thomas, for uh, feed a family, so we'll give you a pizza and ice cream for the family. Brilliant, there you are guys, and we'll just zoom out here and we'll just show you Rochford's. I'm going back out in the broadcast. You can get out there now and social distance in there as well. So as I say, we're coming once again from Rochford's, the superstore in Mullingar. After freezing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ray, you're a legend, fair play. You're very welcome, Thomas. So there you are on the streets of Mullingar, folks. We're busy, busy out. This is Rochester's, that's the phone number if you want to get the old pizza. And this is the shop. The famous shop for many, many years. Once again, this is Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar. Great about our town.
Don't forget the competition. How many years is Tommy Nally in business? You can win a family pizza box, as I say, and it'll be delivered to your house. Bye for now. Thank you.